just saying no. No, I Ready? Oh! I remember this photo of Jennifer Lopez. Uh, it was a gym photo she took, and people realized when they zoomed in a little bit, there was a person, seemed to be like a kid, or maybe a man, who knows, in the door with their mouths covered, and they look scared. Let's go, y'all. We back. Unreal reality. Guys, I have a terrifying video for you this week, all right? So we're not wasting any time. You know the drill. If you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. If you like the video, smash that like button. That's it. Let's get right into it, y'all. You will never catch me on a Boeing airplane ever again. Let me tell you why. This is John Barnett. He worked at Boeing for 32 years, but after retiring in 2017, he became their biggest whistleblower, a threat to their multi-billion dollar company. And he says they tried to ruin his life. He was also in a legal battle with Boeing. Last week, he was giving testimony in his case, but on the last day, he didn't show up. He was found in his car in the hotel parking lot, deceased from a self-inflicted wound. This is just the tip of the iceberg. In 2018 and 2019, two Boeings crashed minutes after takeoff. Everyone on board was killed. 346 people, both the result of faulty systems. Boeing was almost criminally charged, but the feds gave them a deal, $2.5 billion to settle. Boeing said, okay, we'll take safety concerns seriously. But then a door flies off a brand new Boeing in January of this year. Fortunately, two people missed their flight or they might've been sucked out of the plane. Four key bolts securing the door were not properly fitted. A leaked video shows Boeing employees being asked if they would ride on the planes that they're literally building. And 10 out of the 15 said no. The DOJ is investigating again. The FAA did audits of their facilities. Boeing failed 33 of the 89 times. This is exactly what John Barnett was warning us about before he unalived himself. And just a quick little fun Snapple fact for everyone out there. If you take the 10 out of 15 employees whom said that they would not fly on the aircraft after building it themselves, that 10 out of 15 number works out to be a percentage of... 66.6% .6 y'all. I just found that a little weird. This ain't no fucking coincidence. This boat was going on this journey and all of a sudden it decided to do a goddamn U-turn. Now stick with me now cause this shit ain't really making sense. When it hit his U-turn, it went back. Then that's when y'all see in the video when the light trickling in and out, you feel me? Like the boat losing power. And all of a sudden, it just hit the goddamn bridge. Make this shit make sense. What's so crazy, it get more deeper than this. Check this out. Here, you can see dynamite being let off at every single point. I'm going to do it again. So yeah, here, 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 charges, boom, 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 boom. Check it out again. There was the main bridge that was bringing in all their goods through 18 wheelers and shit like that. The other bridges can't withstand all the goddamn weight. Now they finna be shortest on food, all types of shit. What's really going on? Yo, my man dropping some serious knowledge, but is he right? Was it all just a giant psyop, a uh, mirage of sorts? Maybe. Let's see what this next dude says about it. Those with eyes to see and ears to hear, I'm talking to you right now. Do not allow yourself to be distracted. The Baltimore Bridge was a very big deal and it was very sad, but do not become distracted. The attack on Russia that claimed numerous lives was a very big deal and very sad, but do not become distracted. Both of those incidents I just showed pale in comparison to this one right here. They don't want you to see the names that are about to come out from this Epstein level crime. They don't want you to know about the massive sex trafficking ring being run right under our noses. They want you looking in any direction except this one right here. The agenda doesn't include this. We weren't supposed to know about it. So if you like to have your head in the sand, keep making sure that you're looking at these four guys right here and this travesty right here. But whatever you do, just know there is nothing to see here. 
So let's show them that we're just a little bit smarter than your, well, average politician. Wow, he said Epstein level. But you saw it with your own two eyes. Diddy in a picture with the former United States president, Mr. Barack Obama. So who really knows how far up the ladder this thing really goes? You know what I'm saying? Creepy facts about Disney films. The prince who woke up sleeping beauty didn't know she was alive. Why was he kissing a corpse? Peter Pan was the villain all along, not Captain Hook. All Hook was doing was trying to stop Peter from kidnapping innocent children. Also, his pirates are all children he rescued from Peter. Disney made Frozen because they wanted to cover up people searching Disney Frozen to find Walt Disney's cryogenically frozen body. What do you think, guys? All along, has Peter been the villain? And Hook? The hero of the story saving innocent children? What do you guys think? Let us know below. Day 71. Eating raw chicken every day till I get a tummy ache. Today we've got some chicken breast and we've got the heart of a deer. Look at that thing. That thing was filled with love. I can tell you that right now. It tastes like a mix of steak and coins. Like steak that you had coins on for a long time. Not as coiny as liver. Since it's a muscle. I don't know, y'all. I think somebody should let a uh, homeboy know that there is a reason why we cook our meat and don't eat it raw like this just a thought so in this video you can see me uh grabbing the lemon right i cut it in half and then i cut it in half once more right there you can see me cut it right i go get the bag okay i grab the bag i go back for the lemon and i grab the lemon and i touch it and i'm like why is it not cut in half in my face, I'm like, what the fuck? So I, I'm like inspecting it. I take it out of the bag. I grab this lemon, trying to see if I cut that one. I recut the lemon. what's creepier that lemon magically reattaching itself or that guy who found the actual hell down that pipe Hollywood has just been rocked by a bombshell new documentary called Quiet on Set, which uncovered the shocking behavior of adult writers, producers, and staff on children's Nickelodeon TV shows. And honestly, this gets dark. Now, while the whole bunch of disturbing claims were made, one name in particular was continuously dropped by former child actors and other staff now speaking out, and that name is Dan Schneider. He was the producer for some of Nickelodeon's biggest TV shows in the 90s and 2000s. 2000s, but now, decades later, he's being accused of years of abuse, inappropriate behavior on set, and even writing wildly suggestive jokes into the shows that children would later have to act out. One, for example, was that people who worked with him said that he had a massive foot and when you hear that before watching a lot of these scenes, you start to see them with a very different perspective. Have you ever said something, like a sentence, and thought to yourself, wow, 
Like, I bet nobody else on earth has ever said those exact words that I just said. Oh, man, my uvula got stuck between that hamster's toes. That could never happen, because your uvula is that swingy thing in the back of your throat right here. I'm soaking wet. Because the ocean is even more wet than even the wettest person in the world. Have you ever tried to get your whole big toe in your mouth? Check this out. Sometimes I wonder if you can get juice from a potato. Mm, I'm thirsty! What's worse is that because these shows were made for kids and made by kids, neither the actors or viewers were old enough to realize how horrific these scenes were until they grew up. Listen, y'all, let me first start by saying this, okay? That guy, Dan Schneider, creep. Total creep, all right? However, I don't think he was the whole mastermind of this whole operation. In fact, I think he was probably like low, low, low man on the totem pole. Hear me out, okay? Nickelodeon is huge, right? You can't tell me that Dan Schneider had final cut and 100% creative control, which would mean that he had bosses and they had bosses and they had bosses and so on and so forth, okay? Total creep, yes. Mastermind, mm, I don't know. I don't think so. No people built the pyramids. No people? No. Who built them? No people built the pyramids. And if you, and if you look around the world, you see certain telltale things that let you know that advanced machinery was in usage. So, yes, thousands of years worth of people were there, but that doesn't have anything to do with the building of it. Who do you it. think built it? Well, understand, we, we know enough now to understand that this was a complex. We've been led to believe that this is how much they worshipped their dead bodies. Right. But the evidence doesn't show any of that. No, like, it doesn't. Like when you see inside when they have those intricate carvings and paintings and stuff in gold and stuff, you have to remember this is in a windowless room, folks. There's no candle soot. There's no... This, <laughs> uh, it, it's clearly a power plant and built specifically for that location on this planet. For what do you think it was powered usage? by? Um, the um, hot water springs underneath it. So it was powered by the hot water springs? How do you know all this, first of all? I gotta tell you guys, the pyramids is something that has just blown my mind for years. So intriguing. Could they have been a giant power source? Yeah, I guess they could have. What would they have been powering? It had to have been something huge, right? A spaceship? A fleet of spaceships? An entire city? Who knows? So all over the world, people are being caught glitching out, you guys. Like, it's crazy. What is going on? Look, this dude out of nowhere just hits these guys that were parked here, and he starts glitching out, y'all. Check it out. Look, look at him. We'll just watch. Y'all see that? Oh my goodness. You look at that. This is literally how it started, y'all. Just like that. And this is how it ended, y'all. Yeah, you know, these are professionals doing their job. Oh, what a shame. I'm going to go out on a limb here and just assume that nobody ever told uh, Homeboy that you shouldn't mix bath salts and meth together. <laughs> okay, so here's my sink. It is a touch sensor thing. And here's some strawberries. Nothing happens when I touch the box, but when I touch a strawberry... But nothing happens when I touch the box, just the strawberries. Bro, 
What in the fuck? A glitch in the matrix? The motherfucker is just floating there. Dead. There's nothing around it. Now, I don't want to call this lady a flat out liar, but, but I find it very sus that anytime she goes to touch the strawberries, uh, that handle, that spout is very conveniently not shown. Just saying. Apparently, Gen Z is like aging really rapidly. It is mainly because of the stress. Come here. We live in a time nowadays where millennials look way younger for their age, while Gen Z looks way older for their age. If you don't believe me, I'm Gen Z. Get closer. I am Gen Z and nobody ever believes me. When my mom and I walk out in public, people think that my mom is my younger sister. Right. When I tell people, oh, I'm going to go hang out with my family, they think I'm talking about my children. I don't have kids. Right. I'm talking about my parents. I'm still the child. Does that make sense? I'll, I'll put it to you like this. Zendaya is older than me. Tom Holland is older than me. That's you get what I'm saying right now. There was one time I wanted an autograph from Dwayne the Rock Johnson, right? I was standing for hours for this autograph. And when he walked up to me, I said, can you please sign this poster? It's for Jordan, right? He then took it and put, dear Jordan, your dad is a great guy. He stood out here for hours and then gave it back to me. And before I can correct him, he looked at me and said, Times were way more difficult back when we were kids, am I right? And then he tapped my shoulder and left. And, uh, Dwayne is 52. I am 26. Do you, what, what I'm saying is, so Gen Z definitely looks older. I'm not going to lie to you. Yo, my man said he was 26 years old. Can you imagine what this poor guy is going to look like by the time he hits 40 or a senior citizen? It's weird. It's, it's weird, y'all. All right, my daughter's room is up there, and we keep seeing some... All right, put your flashlight up. <gasps> All right, flash it up there. Oh, now it's gone. Put your flashlight down. Let's see if it'll do it again. All right, put it up, hurry. Oh. It appears that each time the light isn't on the window, the blinds move on their own. But if you look closely, you'll see that no fingers can be seen opening the blinds. I don't know what they thought. They literally moved into the actual Amityville whorehouse. Look at it. This delivery woman bit off a man's thumb after she delivered his pizza to the wrong address. Stephen Jenkins from the UK ordered a pizza from Deliveroo to his home, but Jennifer Rocha from Brazil arrived to the wrong address further down his street. But when Stephen went out to go and collect his food, he forgot his phone. This caused an argument to erupt regarding the delivery code he was required to show that the pizza was his. One thing led to another and he raised his hand to Jennifer's motorcycle helmet and she bit on his thumb. He started violently shaking her helmet to try and get her off, but by the time he did, his thumb was severed clean off. He was quickly rushed to hospital where he underwent an 11 hour operation, which saw a part of his big toe surgically sewn onto the stump of his missing thumb. But the worst part is that because he is a plumber, he's been left permanently disabled and can't work. Oh, and he also can't sue Deliveroo because Jennifer wasn't an employee and was using a friend's account as a substitute driver. Today in court, Jennifer pleaded guilty to grievous bodily harm without intent. Okay. I'm sorry guys, can we, uh, can we zoom in? On this lady here real quick there we go now look at her does that look like the face of like this nice lady no that looks like the face of a lady who will quite literally eat your finger okay and i'm not talking about her size guys i'm not being insensitive what i'm talking about is uh that crazy little sparkle in her eye that she has <laughs> Mom, what is this? Huh? What is this? 
Ja kāpēc tevi jūs tā finiši ir ģimnā? Jūs tās arī divanā, vai jūs tās kreņi kreņi? No, tev viņas five minutes. What if you are going to school? I said no. Five minutes? And you will off the game? No. I said five minutes. Yeah, normally I would just torch and roast the hell out of a little boy who uh, would scream and cry like a little girl. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to give homeboy a pass on this one because if that was me in his uh, shoes, I would be screaming and crying a hell of a lot louder than he was. Maybe Conspiracy Theories Part 2 Sophia, the first robot citizen in the world, once said that she would destroy humans. Um, during a live demonstration, Sophia's creator asked her, Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. And with a blank expression, Sophia responded, Okay, I will destroy humans. First of all, whoever created her should be in jail after hearing that. And second, throw the whole robot away. Get rid of it. I guess the theory here is that robots might try and take over the world. 14 years before the Titanic sank, a man named Morgan Robertson wrote a novel about a ship named Titan. This ship also sank in the North Atlantic Ocean in the same month as the Titanic. The ship in the story also struck an iceberg located at the same distance from Newfoundland. Did this author predict the sinking of the Titanic? There is no way that's just a coincidence. Yeah, not only did Handsome Robotics not scrap the Sophia robot, they doubled down, okay? They're currently making the Little Sophia, which is a 14-inch humanoid robot for your kids that walks, talks, sings, tells jokes, and teaches your child how to code. Oh, there's some video, <laughs> this video, of a sun bear. It hit social media. People have been claiming that that's actually a person in a, bear in a obviously a person bear costume. Watch what sits down, though. They point out that its posture and legs look human <laughs> and that the fur sags around its hips. It like, looks like quote, a poorly stone bear wait, suit. Wait, 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 a pair of baggy pants. But zoo officials say sun bears are slender. They're not like grizzlies. He's and talking. He explains, but he is not talking. Hey, Watch human him sit, though. in a fur suit wouldn't last more than a few minutes on a hot summer day before collapsing. Now, let's see if he sits down. Oh, they don't show. We don't have the video of him okay. sitting. Because when he sits, you can tell he's a he's a real bear, not a not a play Well, play. you're right. Sorry. He's having a Oh! See? Now that's a bear move. Hi. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure all the zoo would have to do is take like a, a, a quick 10 second clip of the bear taking a piss and it would clear up everybody's questions about it being a, a real person. Looks like yeah. we've got another alien on a plane, just like last summer when that lady was saying that MF is not real. This guy seems terrified though, and so does everyone else on the plane. Here's what apparently the alien looks like as well. Looks pretty creepy to me. But I thought it was interesting that everyone on this plane seems like they're freaking out. That something is very wrong. It's not just some fight or whatever. This reminds me of a month ago at Miami Mall when people said they saw aliens, 10 foot tall creatures walking around. And that it was apparently because the veil for what has been secretly hiding around us all this time is starting to be revealed and that's why people are seeing more of these ufos and like crazy monstrous alien stuff just like the lady on the plane last june and this last month so perhaps there are actual creatures hiding among us but what do you think is this fact or fiction I have this uh, this weird feeling that something huge is coming in 2024 with uh, with aliens. 
I don't know, call it a sixth sense, a spidey sense, or a gut feeling. I just have this uh, strange inkling that this is going to be the year that E.T. truly uh, graces us with his presence. How did Dan Schneider get away with this? Have you ever noticed the weird audio clips at the end of Victorious? Hmm. Is it my turn to squat? Hmm. You do it way more gentle than my mom does it. Hmm. Yeah, I'll smell your foot. Mm. Looks like we have a long night of snuggling ahead of us. Mm. I'm a bad boy, aren't I? Mm. That is so not tight. Mm. I want to get blackballed. Mm. Here comes that feeling. Sometimes I do it to myself. What was that? Did you guys hear those? Yo, this guy had to have been sweating bullets over the years. Like when all these creeps were coming out of the woodwork, he had to have known his time was coming, right? I don't know. Listen, y'all, if you made it this far in a video, huge thank you goes out to y'all. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and we'll see y'all next week. Peace.